Welcome back to our 20 foot by 20 foot shed project. We are in SketchUp for Schools. In this second episode, we are going to finish up the doors and windows. And we're also going to take a look at the outliner panel and the tags panel to get both of those sorted out. So to start off with, let's go ahead and close up all of our doors and windows um, and then delete the floor real quick get all that set up and then we'll take a look at the outliner panel and tags and get all that set up uh, before we kind of go any further into the roof and everything let's take our tape measure and over here in our panels in SketchUp for schools whenever you click on any of these tools if it has like a little uh, gray triangle that means that there are tools underneath it the only ones that don't is the eraser tool and the selection tool um, if the tool is up the very front, like the tape measure, I don't need to come over here and double click on it because it's already there. Uh, same thing if, I, if I've been using the uh, dimension tool. If I'm using the dimension tool again, I don't need to click on the, the second flat one because it's already selected. The only time I need to click on something else in here is if I need to pick a different tool. For example, if I was using a dimension tool in the previous episode, now I need the tape measure again, I would need to come up here and click on the tape measure in order to select it. So for our the regular doors and windows, all of those want to be, we want those to be six foot eight. So we're gonna go down here somewhere in the middle, not necessarily the middle middle, but some arbitrary distance as long as it's not the corner. Um, the middle works most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I try to go just somewhere where you'll see a little purple square. Go from there, pull up. We're going to type in six apostrophe eight. Again, inches is the default number, so we do not need to put any kind of double apostrophe or anything like that. So six apostrophe eight, hit enter. And now we have a guide going across our shed at the six foot eight mark. We'll use this one for both the window here and the door. Now our windows are three foot by four foot. So our window is gonna, most of the time your windows will always line up with the door. So we're gonna go from that six foot eight mark down and we're going to create another guide going down make sure it's uh make sure it's going on the along the blue axis not the green axis the green axis is going towards you make sure it's blue and we're going to type in three apostrophe and that is the bottom of our window let's right click and again i don't need to you know hit the selection tool or anything to be able to right click uh, you can right click with any kind of tool that you have let's go to edit group I'm going to hit the L key, which is the line tool. And I'm going to zoom in to this area right here. The little intersection between the vertical line and our guide. We're going to click on that and go straight across, making sure that our line is green. Same thing down here. Our intersection, go across, make sure our line's green. Over here in our door, same thing. So we have three little lines going across. Hit the P key for the push pull tool. We're going to drag this one all the way across. Hover over this guide or this outside edge of our wall and click on it. That's inferences that edge and we'll make sure that they all line up. Same thing for here. We're going to just inference that edge and pull over the door using our keyboard shortcuts of the middle scroll wheel and the shift key in order to bring this over. If you don't use any kind of shortcuts at all, that's the one you want to use is your keyboard, is your middle scroll wheel and your shift key in order to rotate and rotate and pan your your project around and the, and the scroll wheel using the zoom keys. I'm going to take my eraser tool. I'm going to erase these little kind of lines and 
everything to get those out of the way, clean everything up before we move on to the other parts. On over here, instead of six foot eight, we're going to go seven foot, so seven apostrophe. Again, your line tool, which is the L key. This one is going to be along the red axis. Select the push pull tool or select the P key and we're going to drag this over. Make sure it's flush and erase our little guides. If you ever cannot erase guides because it's not in that group, um, these are outside of our wall group. Um, you can always just close the group and, and erase those. If you're having a hard time, right click on them and go to edit group if they're in if they're on if they're in a group by themselves. We'll make things easier in finding where which group those lines and guides are in if you kind of if you can to tend to lose those. Over here we want to right click edit group select your tape measure which is the T key we're going to go from the very bottom not the very very bottom but the the top of the foundation we're going to go up six apostrophe eight from that mark we're going to go down three apostrophe so three feet select your line key for to draw in our lines select your push pull tool and drag that over now you have those select your eraser tool which is the E key erase all of our gaunt lines, all of our straight lines, getting everything as one complete piece. So the only door we have left is our closet uh, and we'll kind of do that one um, in our roof section since we'll be working with all that and we'll finish all that up over here in our outliner I want to go ahead and do this one really quick so right now we have three groups and I haven't renamed mine or anything so I, they're all three as group 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 um, here is your outliner panel um, it only shows up whenever you're doing using Sketchup for Schools um, this is one of the updates they did last year um, in regular SketchUp free it's not available um, but that is one of the main things that is that is there in SketchUp Pro if you need to know what group is what you can click on the little eyeball that will hide your group so this right here is my ground so I want to right click on that top group go to rename and type in ground and then hit enter in order to solidify that after the ground, we want to, our next one for me is our is the foundation. So I'm going to right click on that, go to rename, and type in foundation. Then hit enter. The next one is our walls. So I'm going to lastly go in here, type in walls, hit enter, and now we have our three individual pieces. For mine, I want to get rid of these extra little lines. I'm going to edit group, select my eraser tool, and I want to go ahead and delete those. So now we have those three. So that is your outliner panel. Out outliner panel is going to show all your groups and components that's in your project. Your tags, on the other hand, allows you to group up different things. Um, for example, let's say you have a 
one story house and you're doing interior design, you can have different different uh, groups of furniture all under different tags so that you can quickly and easily switch between the different um, the different layouts for all your furniture. This little icon right here is your tags panel. You can click on, if you don't have any tags right now, you can click on the little plus in order to create a tag. So we want to do set up a tag for our foundation. We want to create a tag for our walls. Next, in order to link up your groups and components with a particular tag, you can come up here to open up our anti-info, select your spacebar in order to click on your selection tool, and then click on one of your groups. Once you click on one of the groups, your NT-Info will show up and that will give you all the information for that particular group or that particular component. In this case, the instance is our foundation. It tells you the volume, uh, 200, square, 200 square feet. It tells you what kind of material is on it right now. Right now for us, it's my default material, which is just blank. And then our current tag. By default, everything is untagged, which is what you want. It, you'll start getting really, really messy if um, you start tagging uh, and making tag stuff that is not a group or a component. So you only want to make sure you tag things that are groups and components. Um, loose geometry should stay all untagged until you turn those into some sort of group or component. To change the, the different tag, you can click on untagged. Once you do that, it'll come up with all the different tags that are available to us. So you, all, you always want to make sure you name your tags first before you go in here and, and try to change them, else you'll only see untagged. I want to select a foundation, and there we go. You'll notice that it is colored pink. Same thing for our walls. Let's click on walls. Go in here to click on that. Now, if now I, I can hide my tags panel for walls, and that hides, same thing for my foundation. You can create folders, you can search, you can color by tags. So if you have a lot of things going on, um, and you want to make sure that you kind of have everything in the different um, tags that you want to, you can click on this and you can really easily visually see what's not a part of a tag for instance our ground is not tagged right now so it's un so it's un so it is untagged so it has that little kind of pinkish red color at the very end of your project um, sketchup saves everything that you ever do. So if we go in here and make components and then erase them, we download more components and we erase them. Materials, all that stuff, um, even though we've, we've deleted them, they're still there. You always want to kind of purge your unused at the very end. That will get rid of everything that you're not currently using. So I'm going to leave up our color by tags. Take your dimension tool, make sure that you have those dimensions up. Actually, let's go ahead and undo that so we can actually see. Width we're not really worried about because we did that in our previous episode, but we do want to go in here and modify our styles. So again, really ramp up your font size. Make sure you click on align to the upper or um, underneath. Um, and then 
update all of those. And I'm actually going to go even further so that way you can actually see. Make sure you take a screenshot so that I can kind of see everything. If you if you need to take more screenshots, um, do so and put those into a Google slide. Save your project, and that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes in this playlist where we go in here and start working on our roof.